Hi friends, good morning. This is Suvarna Kesha welcoming you all to Suvarna's Travel World. Today we'll be visiting the Rotorua Thermal Field, which is in the Wakare Vareva region. Wakare Vareva is a Maori village. This is a very interesting place. Come, let's explore now. That is the Fokarewere Watanga o Te Opetawa Wahio And lastly welcome to our place of business that is Te Puya My name is Fa and today I will be your tour guide Yeah, so they have welcomed you in local language Like I told you about the full form of the Fokarewere Watanga So that is the Fokarewere Watanga o Te Opetawa Wahio So it's a warrior meeting place So that's why and his name is Fa So he's welcoming you us So it's a warrior meeting place So that's why and his name is Fa So he's welcoming us We will now start with the weaving rooms and the carving rooms they have these schools to keep their heritage intact. We'll also be visiting the kiwi house, boiling mud pool and the potu geysers. In the end, we'll be watching the Maori cultural performance. Uh, now in this building behind me, we teach three unique arts to our Māori culture. Our National Bone and Stone Carving School, which we will visit very shortly, our National Weaving School and our National Wood Carving School. Now when it comes to these schooling systems, we are non-government funded, which means we get no support from our government. But we are the only schooling system within New Zealand where students are actually paid to learn. So if you think about university or college, first you must pay your fees and then you get the opportunity to study. The carvings here which we have been seeing are the carvings of different gods. They worship the pancha bhutas like fire, water, air, earth and sky. Out of the total sum of purchases we make here, 40% of it goes to the upliftment and protection of Maori culture. It's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. These are the New Zealand Jade Stones called the Honomi. And it is a very Rare type of we famous found only when it comes in to materials. Our green stone. In Maori culture, the bones of the dead are used to make weapons and jewelry. The remains are later left into the water, thereby allowing the marine life to survive on it. This shows how environmental friendly the Maori tribe are.
Here we can see the students at work. This is the Wooden Carving Institute. They are first making a drawing and then carving. Welcome to Te Wānanga Whakaero Rāko or Aotearoa. This is our national wood carving school here at Te Kuia. <coughs> But before I mean, I want to tell you the most larger detail pieces that first get placed onto something we call a pattern board. And on this pattern board, I will go on to learn the designs, the meaning behind those designs, as well as the different tribal styles located throughout our country. So I'm just going to hand these boards out. Uh, we'll start from the edges and we'll make our way towards the middle. These are the models of Maori people in their traditional attire. We see the kids also. This is the place where they have stored all their uh, raw material. Let's now move on to the weaving section. This is the national bird of New Zealand called the kiwi and it's a flightless bird. A beautiful dry flower arrangement here. These are the neatly woven skirts worn by Maori ladies. Here we see a skillful worker weaving a basket with leaves. Some of the Maori headgear and other ornaments here. All this we have been experiencing in the Wakarevareva Thermal Reserve, which is the living Maori village. From the Pacific Islands to this land of New Zealand, when you think about the Pacific Islands, you think about palm trees, uh, sea breeze, white beaches, being in sun, right? When our people migrated to these lands, they came to quickly discover that the conditions were quite the opposite here. It's always overcast, it often rains, and even some location often snows. So this art form that you see surrounding our room. Maori people have lived here for centuries, coexisting in harmony with the geothermal forces that lie beneath their feet. Let's see the geysers and the mud pools in the next episode. Friends, please do like, share and subscribe to Suvarna's Travel World. It's a bye-bye from Wakarevareva, the Maori village from New Zealand.